Today we are in the beautiful city of Puerto Escondido, which is in the southern tip right on the beach of the Oaxacan state of Mexico. And I'm going to show you the place where we are staying, which is right next to three awesome beaches. You can walk right to them. We're nearby some awesome restaurants. We're going to show you some of the food today. And I'm going to show you how accessible it is right here too, because we're also close to one of their big box stores where you can get all of your shopping done. So let's head right over there and grab ourselves some breakfast. The store that we're going to is called Shidrawi. It's a lot like some of the big box stores in the United States, kind of like Walmart or Target perhaps, but it's got a great bakery and that's what we're gonna select our food from today and grab ourselves a piece of fruit probably. Here's what we got from the bakery so far. And we also got a red delicious apple and that came out to about Two and a half dollars. And now we're gonna take you to one of our favorite places to go eat. It's a secret little lookout called Mirador Un Sueño Posible. It means something along the lines of possible dreams lookout. So let's go over there and have our breakfast. So to get there, we're walking down this pretty typical Mexican neighborhood. Lots of trees, lots of fruit trees. We saw star fruit, see some coconut trees back here in the distance. I would love to live in a place like this where it's just nice and quiet and calm and beautiful. Hey, you big beauty. Aren't you sweet? So here is the entrance to Mirador, un sueño posible. We're coming right up on it. Now the lookout itself is actually right up over here. You can also go right down here. We might do that in a little bit, but first let's go check out the lookout over here. So this is an awesome place to come hang out and get a view of all of Puerto Escondido. You can see La Punta way down there. You can see Zicatella Beach running along over here. And it is a bit hazy today, but still a beautiful look down at the ocean down here. We can actually get down here, taking that path that I was telling you about. So we're gonna go down there to have our breakfast. This part right here gets a little bit tricky, so mind your head going through here. You are gonna have to duck down to go through here. Let's do it. Here we go, let's see if I can get through. Oh, yeah. There we go. Made it all the way through, and then look what we get to walk out to here. So beautiful. Oh man, I love this place. What we have down here is this touristic walkway, but I've heard that it's kind of fallen into disarray over the years. It goes in between this area and all the way over to the other beach over there, but I've heard that some places just like the bridges and stuff are a little dangerous, so we don't go too far on this. And the only other people we ever see out here are like fishermen in the morning. Never see any tourists on this area. Which makes it perfect for me because I'm definitely one of those tourists who loves to travel and then also complain about how many tourists there are in the tourist areas. So love to find these areas where there are so few tourists that I don't have to moan about it. There's one of those rickety bridges over there, so just be careful with those. And so here's gonna be our view while we have our little breakfast here. You can see some of the boats out already. I don't know if those are fishermen or tourists. Looks like maybe a combination of the two. Plenty of boats going by. Great place to have breakfast down here. Make sure you give a bite to everybody who's watching. Yeah. Chomp, 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 chomp. Nice fluffy and delicious croissant here. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Check out the wildlife. Lots of crabs like this in this area. This is some of our favorite stuff to the bakery. They call this taco fresa, or basically a strawberry taco. These are really yummy. We love them. Uh -huh. A bite for the viewers. 
Chomp, 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 chomp. So definitely not the healthiest breakfast that we just ate, but really cheap, and it's got a beautiful view out here. Now, don't go telling people about this place and don't go showing up here, because if I come back in a couple years and it's filled with tourists, I will moan about it. And I'm just playing, you know I love you guys. You're welcome to come down here. It's such a beautiful, gorgeous place to eat some food and just check out during the day, and it's so secluded, and no one else is here can't beat it. And now within walking distance of this place are two beautiful beaches known as Manzanillo and Angelito. We're gonna take you down there after we get changed up. All right, we're all dressed up for the beach and it's basically the same walk as this morning to Mirador, un sueño posible. Let's go check it out. So the big difference in going to the Mirador and going to the beach is we would walk down this way to go to the Mirador, you see this corner here, and the beach is going to be this way. Usually lots of buses down here dropping people off, picking them up. We come to these steps right here and head on down. And the only time these beaches aren't super crowded is early in the morning. We're not getting there early in the morning today, so we'll see how many people are there. Again, me just moaning about tourists. Starts off with a few restaurants down here. And so here we have Manzanillo Beach, and if you go past these rocks over here, over there is Angelito, so it's two different beaches, same bay. It's more sandy in the water, whereas over in Manzanillo, it's a little bit more rock. So we go past these rocks right here, and there's a little club right here called La Isla, and we go back into this little trail back here and cross over to the other beach. Got some beautiful saguaro cactuses here. I love them. In between the two beaches, there is this nice little lookout right here. You can climb these steps right up here, and there's a nice little spot where you can come and check out the whole bay. Let's get a look at it. Manzanillo over there. Playa Angelito over there. Welcome to Playa Angelito. Also crowded today. All kinds of activities like banana boats over there and boat rides, tons of boats ready to go, places to sit as well and eat. Oh, it feels so good. The water's warm here, but also nice and cool. <laughs> You're gonna drown me. <laughs> Auburn, what'd you find there? I found sea glass. So those are two great beaches to have fun at. Uh, both are really good for swimming, but again, we like Angelito because it's a little more sandy. Uh, but it's time to eat. We are hungry again. So we're going to check out a restaurant that another person was telling us about called Siete Mares. So it's summertime down here right now and you see how packed that beach gets. I can't imagine how full it gets in their high season in winter time because right now it's a low season and it's still fall. Again, just a tourist complaining about tourists. Just to give you guys an idea of where we're staying, I'll show you a closer look later in the video. But we are staying at Alojamiento Puerto Piedra, the co-living establishment right here next to City Bonamex. So now we are headed off to eat at a place called Siete Mares. It's just a few minutes walk from our place. It's the first time we're gonna eat there, so let's go check out the menu and see what they got. By the way, if you're looking for a three-star hotel to stay in, check out this one right here. I haven't stayed in it personally, but on the inside of it, it just looks so beautiful. It's got great architecture and a pool. Here we are, Siete Mares. They have antojitos, let's see, guacamole. They have french fries, that's papa a la francesa. Tostadas could be really good. Tlayudas, I hear those are a lot like burritos. Haven't tried one out yet. Got some tacos as well. They have hamburgers and they come with papas, which are papa a la francesa, those are the french fries. You can get that with pollo or pescado, that's chicken or fish. The Hawaiian will come with a pineapple on it. This club sandwich hot dog. I do not know what a cinco colonizada is. Desayunos, here's the breakfast here in frijoladas and tomadas, chilaquiles, enchiladas, quesadillas, all kinds of good stuff. Here's everything that comes with the eggs, so huevos with all kinds of things, a la mexicana, rancheros. I like them with chorizo, personally. You can also get them with shrimp and things like that in an omelet. They've got lots of hot drinks available. Other things to eat, like pancakes, pan francés, that must be French toast, you can get that with fruit. There's a fruit salad for 80, that's a pretty good price right there. Different juices, orange juices, green juices, carrot juice, sanorilla, other kind of drinks down here. Here we have dinners right here, all kinds of things available, salads, soups, 
different types of spaghettis. They have fish right here. They have a mojarra, a huachinango, very good. They have fillets of fish as well, as well as some different kinds of shrimp dishes over here. These ones are the empanizados. Here we have ceviche cocktails with shrimp and octopus and other things, really good looking. They have their own specials right here too, if you want to pay a little bit more money. They even serve steaks over here, so a lot of good foods available. Make sure you try on mole huaqueño if you're ever in Oaxaca. And if you want any kind of bar drinks, they got all kinds of things. They even have like a cheesecake up here, some ice creams, fried platanos, all kinds of drinks available too. Not really my thing. So I ordered the chilaquiles verdes. I haven't had them before, so we'll see how they go. And Avi over here ordered the hamburguesa sencilla con papas. And the hamburger actually comes with also ham on it, so we got it without the ham. So she's just gonna have the burger. And this is a cute little spot to eat, lots of greenery, nice little tables and stuff like that, well made and crafted. So here is what the chilaquiles looks like with the tasajo, that's the steak that I got with it. And then my daughter got her hamburger and french fries, and that actually looks amazing. Want to trade? No. No? Oh, no. Done. I know. <laughs> this looks good too, though. How's that burger so far? Good. Yeah, the fries are really tasty, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. What do you like best about the burger? The meat. The meat? They only gave me one tomato. It was a big tomato, though. Uh-huh. What'd you expect? Maybe like three. Three, Maybe. three big tomatoes? Maybe like three like skinny ones. Oh, gotcha. I might steal a fry from me here. Those are pretty darn tasty. As for the chile quiles, they taste fine, but I probably wouldn't order them again. They're basically like drunken nachos or something, and they just end up being kind of soggy, and it's really just one flavor throughout, so I don't know if I'd order them again, but I'm happy enough with them. These bites are pretty good. Yum, 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 yum. The meat is definitely the best part of it, but honestly, I can cook this meat better because I'm a champion chef. You know what I'm saying. Come on. So we talked about it and neither of us would particularly order either of those foods again. The chilaquiles, eh, they're just kind of like drunken nachos, not a huge fan. Uh, the burger was okay as well, but the french fries, the french fries were really good, Yeah, right? the french fries were delicious. Definitely. And we're not saying we wouldn't go back to that restaurant because we actually are in the morning. We're going to try out their french toast with fruit. How's their breakfast? Delicious. This is actually really good. Yum. Lots of fruit, papaya, melon, watermelon, really good French toast with milk sugar and some honey to go with it too. Yeah, that was really good. I'm glad we came back for breakfast. Good choice. But for now, it's mid-afternoon, so it's super hot here. We're gonna go take a little rest in the AC. So to give you a feel of where we're resting, I'm gonna take you on a quick tour inside. So right up here, we have a nice locked gate here. We appreciate that because it just gives you a nice sense of security before you come in. We've got this map right here of Puerto Escondido for us. Really nice to have that. As we make our way up the stairs, we do have some nice plants, some tall ones right there, some small ones there. It's a nice entrance. And the second set of stairs here leads us into a nice little sitting area up here it gives us a little view uh, we've got some trees we got the street out there there is some street noise as you can see but a nice place to sit right here have a coffee read a book a little community area and over to the left of that we have the communal kitchen over here there is an area that you can wash and do your dishes over here there's a nice little area over here that you can come and hang out and check out the trees a little bit quieter on this side and here's the other angle of the kitchen right here lots of pots and pans to use there is a four burner stove that they have as well as a blender and there's some things you can use too they have oil and salt ready to go there's a coffee maker over here a microwave they have free water for us and what's really cool too is they have these little cabinets up up here so here's my cabinet there's a lock on it you can put all of your food in those individually nice big trash can to hold everything down that you don't want and then we have a nice big community fridge that we can use over here as well and another great place to sit and have coffee it's also where i sit and get a little bit of work done as well because right here we have a little power outlet to stay all charged up and now if we leave the kitchen we can go back through here and this will take us back into where all of the rooms are at. And I like looking at these old portraits here. It's back of Puerto Escondido, way back in the day. Right around the corner over here is the room that we are staying in. So let's head in and check it out. There is a lock on the door, so we got our own personal security here. And then here's a look at the room itself. It's pretty simple. We do get one thing of art over here. 
We do get a nice functioning air conditioner, which works really well, I've loved that. And then we also get the ceiling fan too, so it helps stay nice and cool. There is a TV in here, and this comes with a standard cable that you would find in Mexico, so it's just like what you might find back home, except it's all in Spanish. Um, we do get a mirror over here, as well as a small working table, can't, although I call it a working table, you can't really work at it because it is so small, look it's only like the width of my hand. Couldn't fit my computer on there, but that's why I work out by the kitchen. It does come with a chair over here too. There's a little bed over here, it's got the wooden headboard, a little nightstand over there with some outlets and you can control the fan over there as well. And then for storage, we do have some space over here, we got plenty of hangers and rooms to hang things up. We have a couple storage spots right here as well, enough room for some of our fruit and things. And then we have a window right here with these blackout curtains that give us a view out to the kitchen area over there as well. And then lastly, we do have our own private bathroom, which we always love to have. We do not like to share bathrooms, uh, private bathrooms. So let's go in here and check it out. We get the sink, of course. It comes with um, soap and everything like that. Nice big mirror. It's got the shower over there, the toilet. It came with all the toilet paper we needed. And there's shampoo and body wash as well inside of the shower over here. So not a bad place for what we got here. This was actually only about 30 bucks a night for one week, which isn't too bad for this place. But if you're interested in seeing a place that's a little bit less expensive than this in Puerto Escondido, just click on this video right here.